Now, for those of you who don't know, and there can't be more than a tiny handful, Melinda Schneider is an extremely talented Australian music icon, a multi-award winning singer-songwriter, an extraordinary live performer, a spellbinding storyteller, the CEO and founder of Empower Records, a sought-after keynote speaker, and a female empowerment activist. Wow. <laughs> Uh, likes to keep busy, obviously. Um, excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry, the cough button. I forgot about it. In a career that began with a debut at the age of three when she appeared on stage with her mother, Mary, Melinda has kept her family tradition alive by becoming one of Australia's most sublime singers and popular entertainers. But it is through her assured and accomplished songwriting that she has really discovered her true voice with John Farnham, Olivia Newton-John and Paul Kelly all having recorded her songs. Melinda's latest single, The Story of My Life, the next chapter that I played just a few seconds ago, was released at this year's Gimpy Music Muster and it is a beautifully reworked and updated version of the original song that celebrates its 21st anniversary. But Melinda's talent isn't just musical. She's a highly regarded fashion designer and she once competed on Dancing with the Stars. Plus, she's delivered many keynote speeches to empowered women across the country. She's also a gifted actress who made her acting debut at the age of 13 in the very popular TV series A Country Practice. Needless to say, I'm deeply honoured to have Melinda standing by on the phone to have a chat with me, so I won't keep the lady waiting any longer to be brought on air. Um, So, uh, yeah, hello, Melinda. How are you today? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Jeez, I'm exhausted after you reading all of that. You're exhausted. All that, jeez. Um, And and, and I left a lot out too, just uh, for the sake of brevity. I mean, there's so much more to your story there. Um, You know, but uh, you've had you've had a very full life and a very full career. I I must say, would you agree with that? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I've been in the industry for. For 40 years, wow. it's a bit over 40 years now since I was first recorded when I was eight years old with my mum. So I've been on stage from three years old. So it's been my whole life, you know. Yeah. It has been a very, very long time. Wow. Um, but it's been a lot of fun too. Yeah, and, and uh, like I said in the end, there's not. Uh, it's not just about the music. I mean, you've you've, you've got acting under your under your belt and. Uh, you know, your songwriting and, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of really, really good stuff. And I'm really interested about this uh, uh, female empowerment uh, that, that, you, uh, that you do. I, I think that's a great endeavour. I really do. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, look, it's, it's a long time overdue. And I think, um, you know, we've still got a long way to go with women being, receiving equal pay to men. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and there's there's a lot of things that still need to be um, ironed out, really, and made, yeah. made equal. But you know, we're yeah. we're better off than we we used to be. But yeah. still a lot more work to go for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I think we have made great strides, but you know, as you say, there's there's still a road to, ahead of us because, I mean, there are women still out there who are doing the same job as men, and they're not getting paid the same. You know, so that needs to be addressed. Yeah. All righty, enough of the politics. Um, <laughs> welcome to the Country Club. It is absolutely a great privilege to uh, to have you on the show, and I thank you for taking the time uh, out of your Sunday afternoon to have a chat with me. Um, much appreciated. Um, for having me. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Who would not like to have Melinda Schneider on their radio show, I ask you? Um, <laughs> um now, th- this gorgeous song of yours, you know, th- this reworked uh, version of um, the story of my life, uh, w- which, as I said off air, the original uh, of, of that song is a gorgeous, gorgeous song. And uh, this reworked version, the next chapter, is um, uh, a, a step above. I mean, it shows that uh, you've gained, well, it shows the experience that you've gained in between, you know, the first version and this version uh, of the song. Um, yeah, oh, thank you. Well, I think we all, you know, I wrote that song 21 years ago. And, that's amazing. Um, you know, it came out all those years ago. So a lot can happen in 21 years, and it has. Indeed. I've been been through 
so many different things. You know, I've been through a divorce and oh. lost my first baby. Um, you know, then I've, I've met my now husband, Mark, and um, yep. I've had a beautiful baby boy, Sullivan, who's now 11. Yeah. Um, my dad died. You know, there's, there's been a whole lot of things that have happened in that time. Wow. And I just thought that I should update the song because... Yeah. Really, it, it has a, a true happy ending now. You know, I'm in the best part of my life right now. Very happy with a beautiful partner who is my absolute equal. We're just best mates in the whole world. And he's a good singer. He happens to be a good singer and a great songwriter. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and yeah, we're really happy. We've got our beautiful little boy. Life is good. It's Excellent. It's taken me a long time to get here to this <laughs> place. Well, you, look, you, you've earned it. Uh, I, 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 no one can dispute that. You've absolutely earned um, you, the place that you are in now. And I have to say, I saw that uh, video on, on YouTube uh, of, uh, well, I don't know if it was your, your wedding, but in any case, um, yeah. you, you, you were marked together. I I don't know that I've ever seen uh, two people on a video that looked as happy as you two. So, you know, that. Oh, thank you. It must have been a gorgeous day, really, you know. It really was, yeah. yeah. So we got married last year. We've been together for 15 years, but we got married um, just a year ago. Okay, yeah. Up on, at Kilcare Beach, up on the central coast near where we live. Okay. And it was beautiful, and our little boy Sullivan walked me down the aisle. Um, it was very, very special. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it was gorgeous. And, and Sullivan is 17, you said? He's 11. 11, 11, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So, well, that, that's great. I, <laughs> fancy, yeah, yeah that's... Um, uh, I, I walked my mother down, down the aisle when I was like six, I think. Um, uh, she, she got really? Mar- yeah, she got married for the second time. and. Um, oh, that's lovely. You know, so uh, I, I, I've sort of got vague memories of it, you know, but um, I, I can remember... Yeah. I remember walking down the aisle in the church with my mum, and uh, yeah, it was uh, quite a proud moment. Um, That's so, gorgeous. Yeah, so I, I can imagine, you know, uh, how Sullivan must have felt, you know, walking his mum down the aisle for a, a wedding. That would have been absolutely beautiful. And of course, how you felt, um, you know, seeing that. Oh yeah. Well, you know. well, it's just lovely to be marrying your best friend, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, we weren't really that. In much in a hurry to get married because we were, we were happy, we've been together 15 years, you know, but Sullivan actually proposed to us and he said, Mummy, oh, can, did you did. Please, can you please marry Daddy? And I said, darling, we're going to be together forever. Why do you want us to get married? And he said, Mummy, I just don't want anybody else to marry you. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> so, I love this. I love it. Those, those are great stories. Not like there's a huge lineup, you know, from my front door with a with a hundred men waiting. To marry me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it was very sweet. That that that's hard to believe. I I I would imagine men, you know, beating a path to your door constantly. <laughs> 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 but now that you're married, of course, you know that's um uh, that that won't be happening. So, uh, thankfully. <laughs> totally, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um. Now, um, uh, uh, re- reading um, re- reading the stuff on your on your website, um, w- which is so full of interesting facts, um, I-, I-, I noticed that um, y- you've uh, you've done all you're doing or have done a Doris Day tribute show. Yeah, uh, you you're there, Melinda. I got you now. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. So, can you tell us a bit about your Doris Day tribute show? Is that is that still ongoing, or is that something that's in your past? Oh, look, I've much stopped it for the moment. But next year, I am doing some um, matinee shows, some uh-huh. morning melody shows, actually, around some theatres. Okay. Um, all around Australia with the Doris thing. But you know, right. I did that for about ten years, on and off. Right. I did the Opera House several times with the show, and some amazing venues around Australia that country singers don't normally get to work in. So So this is a Sydney cool. Opera House, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it was amazing. Nice. Sold, out, sold out the concert hall a few times with this show. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Yeah. That, so that was pretty cool. That would be a great show to see. I've always been a fan of Doris Day, but you know, you you, you um you, you see people doing tributes to all sorts of people, but um 
for some reason, Doris Day has been overlooked, and I'm glad to see that someone has has actually done a tribute uh, to her, and I could think of no better person than you to do it, so uh, great oh, stuff yeah. indeed. And, Thanks. And just off the side, uh, just an interesting factoid, um, I'd, uh, you, you probably know about this anyway, but many listeners wouldn't. Um, Doris Day actually had a partner who was an African-American, um, and she kept that very, very quiet because, you know, the, the situation in America. Um, did, were yeah. you aware of that? She had what? Were you aware of the, the fact that she had an African-American partner? Oh, yeah. She, she dated Sly and the Family Stone. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, from Sly and the Family Stone, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause, him for a while. Yeah. All right. Because that, that, I was really interested to read that. Um, they, they didn't mention... Well, the article I read uh, didn't mention who it was. It just mentioned that, you know, she... Uh, had a partner who was an African American, and I thought, wow, that was courageous, you know, um, oh, yeah. for, for the time, um, you know. So, uh, yeah, uh, kudos to the to the lady. I, you know, just had, I mean, I always had a lot of time for Doris Day, and and that just, uh, you know, uh, raised her even further in my estimation. Um, you know, yeah, she was pretty cool, I reckon. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's wow. But anyway, let, uh, onward and upward, we're here to talk about you, not Doris Day. Um, uh, who are your favourite artists? I, I'm just cur- I like to ask people, you know, when you sit down um, and listen to music, just for the fun of it, you know, just or in the background, you know, when you're doing some cooking or, or whatever, uh, who do you tend to listen to? Um, look, I love Renee Geyer. Oh, okay. I always loved her. Yeah. Um, who else? I love, I love Chris Stapleton. He's, you know, one uh-huh. of my favourite singers and I've had the pleasure of writing with him over in Nashville. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, I love... Who else do I love? Oh, look, I grew up really listening to a lot of bluegrass music too. Ricky Skaggs, he's one of my favourite artists. Okay. Um, and Nancy Wilson, a lot of jazz. I love jazz. Nancy Wilson, who's a, a right. black American jazz singer. Okay. From, you know, the 50s, I guess. Right. Um... Who else? It's Stevie Wonder I grew up with. A lot of, lot of different genres, really. Yeah, okay. Soul, right. soul jazz, pop, um, and country and bluegrass. Okay. Well, you're ticking a few... So, lots of different styles. You're ticking a few boxes there, let me tell you. <laughs> That's yeah, good. I've got pretty, pretty broad musical taste. That's good stuff. Um, all right, now, let me ask you this, because, um, I mean, you're very much... Inside the heart of the beast, so to speak, and I'm curious. Um, I'm, I'm curious about uh, the view of the Australian country music landscape from your perspective. Um, is is it healthy? Is it thriving? Does it need resuscitating? I'd love to get your opinion on that. Hmm. Oh, this is dangerous territory. It, it, it is, um, but you know, tread carefully. Yeah. Look. <sighs> I would like to hear some better songs coming out. I have to be honest. Okay. I, I, I'm hearing a lot of songs that are coming out that I'm hearing don't connect and have really fantastic lyrics like some of the older stuff. Right. And I think the 90s and 2000s, um, you know, early 2000s, there was some great country music coming out. Yeah. Great lyrics. Yeah. Really well written songs. Uh-huh. I, mean, I, I like more traditional country music, I must say. Yep, yep. I love, you know, George Jones and even the Brad Paisleys and stuff like that. I, yep. I, I really like the more traditional stuff. Yep. Um, and I just think a lot of the stuff that we've heard in the last decade, a lot of it sounds very much the same. Mm, yep. To me, I don't know if you agree with that. I do, I do. We are absolutely on the same page with that um and i think there's um my own personal opinion is that uh, there's far too much pop uh in in country songs yeah. nowadays coming out especially coming out of america but here too um you know you you listen to what is supposedly a country song and all i can hear is pop um, yeah they just put this whole pop production thing on yeah. the songs and i think a lot of that stuff can happen too when the song isn't that great you know, they think that the production can make up for, mm. you know, 
Yeah. Maybe a song that isn't quite as strong. But if you've got a great song, you don't really need all of that. No. No, you're absolutely right. Absolutely yeah. right. And and I think... That, that goes for pop music too. There's, there's, yep. You know, I mean, I think... Um, oh, God, what's his name? Bruno Mars has got some fantastic songs. You know, there's, there's certain certain artists who've got some great songs, like Maroon 5. I love those guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know that song, Memories? Yep, yep. Um, Here's to the ones that we've lost, you know... Drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. I love that song. You know, there's there's some really great songs out there with great lyrics. Melinda Schneider, folks, singing on the Country Club live to air. (laughs) How about that? (laughs) But, yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. I'm I'm a stickler for really well-crafted and good quality songs. That's what I'd like to hear more of coming out of Australia. And I think, you know... Not everybody has to write their own songs. Not everyone no. is a great songwriter, and there's no shame in finding a great song and recording it. Yep. Um, you know, there are some great songs out there that people aren't recording. You don't have to write everything yourself. No, no, you're quite right. You're quite right. I mean, you know, people like Slim Dusty, um, you know, that they, he recorded so many songs uh, that other people had written. Um, you know, Stan Costa, for instance, uh, you know, Slim recorded over 70 of his songs, you know, so um, you, you're quite right. You're quite right. I mean, a good song is a good song, and it doesn't matter who wrote it, um, as long as yeah. you do a good job of recording it and putting it out there, you know. Um, That's right. I just think the standard needs to be, you know, yep. always top class. I agree 100%. Um but unfortunately, Melinda, we're out of time. I've got to sign off with you, and I would love to keep talking to you. That's fine. Thank you for having me. Great to catch up. Oh, look, you're, you're absolutely welcome. Um, I, I, I love having you on the show, and uh, I hope we can do this again sometime because... Uh, uh, That'd be lovely. Yeah, I, I don't think your career is going to end any time soon, so uh, I, I think the opportunity will be there. So, look, all the best to you and Mark and uh, Sullivan and all the people you really care about, uh, you know, take it easy. And uh, I know it's a bit early, but have a great Christmas and New Year. So You too. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, thank you very much, Melinda. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.